Okay then, for our start today's WinUA and Amiga OS 3.2 setup guide for a Windows PC. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at Amiga OS 3.2 today and setting this up within WinUA. And of course, WinUA is the most best if not the very best Amiga emulator out there. Absolute superb stuff. So I uploaded Amiga OS 4.1 and some people don't like 4.1 so a lot of people prefer 3.2. So first of all we're going to need to download a couple of things. So we got WinUA just there. I'll leave the links in my description for this. We're going to download WinUA so we can either install this to the computer or we can actually download it portable. I've downloaded the Zip Archive 64 bit and that's what I'm going to be using in my video today. Uh, next up we're actually going to need Amiga OS 3.2. I'll leave the link in my description for this as well. You can buy this over here this contains everything that we need and this is everything that I'm going to be using in this guide today so what I've done is extracted the contents of Amiga OS 3.2 into a folder from the disk two folders here that we're going to need is the ADF folder and the ROM folder so what I'm going to do is just make a copy of both of these folders and just paste them for now on my desktop Okie dokes. So what I'm going to do next then is open up WinUA. Okay, so what I recommend doing is once we're inside of WinUA, let's just set up a profile for this installation. So we're going to go up to configurations and you can find that on the left hand side just there. And under name, I'm going to call this setup Amiga OS 3.2. And I'm then going to go down to save. Okie doke. So that's now appeared at the top just there as Amiga OS 3.2. Okay, next thing we're going to do is staying on the left hand side just there, we're going to go to quick start and under emulated hardware we're going to drop this down and we're going to set it up as an Amiga 1200. And it's going to warn you that one of the system ROMs is required if we just OK that for now. Uh, next thing we're going to do under configuration we're just going to drop this one down and we're going to select 4 megabyte fast RAM expanded configuration and again we're just going to OK this. And next up, we're going to go to Hardware, CPU, and FPU. If we go into this, we're going to leave CPU as the 020. We're going to go down to FPU, and we're going to select 6881. We're then going to go at the 24-bit addressing and just uncheck this one, and we're going to enable JIT. Under CPU emulation speeds, we're going to select fast as possible. We're going to set chipset is AGA if we just go on the chipset and yes AGA by default is already selected that's good. Okay next up we need to select a ROM for this so if we go to the ROM section just here and what we need to do is point this in the direction of your ROM folder which come from the Amiga OS 3.2 CD. So from here I'm just going to go to my desktop because that's where my ROM folder is I've just extracted from the CD and here's my ROM folder. And the ROM I'm going to select for this is kick a 1200.rom. If I just mount that in place just there. Okay, next up we're going to go to RAM. And from RAM we're going to go to Z3 fast or C3 fast. And we're going to boost this one up to 128 megabyte. Next up we're going to go to floppy drives. And you're going to find a section here, floppy drive emulation speed. If I drag this one to the left hand side, it's going to say turbo. So that's going to make installing this as fast as possible next up we're going to go to cd and hard drives we're going to go to add hard file now we're going to give a size of the hard disk image a size of say 600 megabyte and that should be fine if we then press on create i'm going to give this a name and i'm going to call it again amiga os 3.2 if i just then hit save we're then going to go to device and i'm going to type in dh0 if I then go down to OK, and in the top panel just here, we're going to see that device has now appeared. OK, next up, we're going to go to floppy drives, and we're going to use two floppy drives emulated for this. So we're going to set DF0 in DF1. Now, just a minute ago, I dragged it onto my desktop, the ADF folder. If we look on the desktop, I've got my ADF folder here. If we go inside of here, this has got all my .adf files for installing the system itself so we're going to go back to WinUAE 
So on DF0, if I just go to the three dots just here, open this one up, I'm going to point this into my ADF folder. And from here, we're just going to select install 3.2.adf. Just double left click on this one. And for DF1, we're again going to click on those dots. And for this, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find local.adf. Select this one. Now it's always important you save your progress will win you away because it doesn't save it for you. And I've done some setups in the past and good God, I have been very stressed out by losing things. So we're going to go back to configurations. And just a minute ago, I set up a profile, Amiga OS 3.2. If I left click on this one, I'm then going to go down to save. So that's all saved now. So if we close out of WinUA and we go to load this profile back up, everything should then still be intact. Okay, so let's go down to start. Okie dokes, here we go then. So the first thing we're going to do is just left click on the DH0 uninitialized. And if I right click, go to the top and we're going to go to format disk. We're going to give this a new volume name and we're going to call this one system. I'm going to select fastball system. I'm going to go down to long file names and just check this one. I'm then going to go down to quick format and format and format. And here we go, that's done. So we can now see system no longer says initialized. If we go in there, we've also got a trash can, which is pretty helpful. Okay, let's get installing then. So we're gonna double left click on install 3.2 and we can expand this just a tad. Uh, from here, we're gonna double left click on the install drawer and whatever language you're using, I'm gonna be using English British. Now, just remember at this point, we can actually expand the screen. So if I press my F12 button just here, I go to display, settings. If I drop this down to either full window or full screen, let's go for full window. I press OK, and here we go. So I'm gonna go to proceed, install release 3.2. I'm gonna go to proceed, and I'm gonna drop down to intermediate user, proceed to with install, Install for real and log all actions to, I'm going to leave this to none and left click on proceed. And do you want to release 3.2 installed in the system partition? Yes, absolutely. And which languages should be installed? So for me, again, I'm going to select English British. I'm also going to uh, left click on English. I'm then going to go to proceed. Which printer drivers should be installed? Now, I don't want to install any of these, so I'm going to just uncheck them and go down to proceed. Which key map should be installed? So, of course, I'm going to be using British, so it's just a case of unchecking all of those key caps that you don't need. Okie dokes, now going to press proceed. Do you want to install glow icons? Uh, yes, we're going to do that. Okay, it's going to get to a point where it's going to ask us to insert new disks. So please insert the Amiga Workbench Disk version 3.2. So what I'm going to do from here is press the F12 button. And that's going to open up WinUAE. If I go to the floppy drives, I'm then going to go over to DF1. And on those three dots just there, I'm going to select what it's asking for, which is Workbench 3.2. If I then go down to OK, and we're going to hit proceed. And it's now asking us for Amiga Disk Doctor. So again, F12, and we're going to replace the workbench with this doctor. So we're going to select this doctor. OK. And just give it a few seconds and proceed. Amiga Locale, so F12 and back to floppy drives. And we're going to select Amiga Locale. So we're going to find it just here. Locale and OK. And we're going to select the English version of this in my case. So again, back to WinUA and we're going to select local English. And again, OK.
Local UK, so F12, and let's take a look. We need Local UK. Here we go, and again, hit OK. Next up, we got extras F12 dots and extras OK. OK, next up, we got classes. So F12 and back to floppy drives, and we're going to select the classes.adf. Here we go, and OK. Amiga fonts F12 and we're going to replace classes with fonts and OK. Storage, uh, three dots and we're going to select storage. Now it makes things easier that everything here is in alphabetical order so OK. And we're looking for the backdrops ADF this time. So we're going to replace storage with backdrops at the top just there and OK. And glow icons. So I think you start getting a picture of how this works just for now and OK. Okay, next up, we're finally done. So we're gonna press F12 and we're gonna remove both disks like it's requesting. So again, F12, this time we're gonna select eject for DF0, eject for DF1. If we then go to okay, and we're gonna left click on proceed. And here we go, awesome stuff. We are now inside of Amiga OS 3.2, very cool. So let's clean up the screen. It looks a little bit messy. If we go into the system and we're going to go into the prefs and from here if we select screen mode, uh, I'm going to turn this to a different display mode. I'm going to use high res laced. Uh, under colors just here we can select how many colors. Uh, I'm personally going to scroll up to 256. If I then go to use and use again, there we go, that's much better this time. So everything's a lot more sharper and a lot more clear. Now, don't forget to save everything because you don't want to be doing this every time you want to use Amiga OS 3.2. So again, just in case, I'll press an F12 button and we're going to go to configurations and save it as Amiga OS 3.2 profile. If I then go down to save, Okie dokes. So what I'm going to do is just test this. If I press quit and if I open up WinUA from scratch, okay, and configurations, Amiga OS 3.2, I'm going to just make sure that under name, that same profile is here, which it is. If I then hit load and I select some of these options just here, we can see that this is now automatically loaded up our progress. So all I need to do is press start from here. And here we go, we're back in. Of course, it didn't save our screen preferences just a minute ago, but we can easily uh, just adjust that again. So, colors right back up to 256 and save, use, and here we go, perfect. And just remember, for now, should you need to exit at full screen mode, it's just a case of pressing F12. Uh, we're going to go to display, and under settings, just pop this back onto windows. Uh, and press OK, and there we go, awesome. And to exit out of this screen, you're going to find that your cursor is trapped. All I'm doing here is going to press Alt in tab, and then we can come back out. Very easy stuff. 
Okay, so that'll just about do it for today's WinUAE and Amiga OS 3.2 setup, guys. So, like I said at the start of the video, I did have a lot of people saying that Amiga OS 3.2 is best uh, for various different reasons. In fact, better than Amiga OS 4.1, which I covered just a couple months ago. Anyways, whatever does it for you, and to me, they're both very superb systems. Anyways, check out my playlist for more computer emulation. I've covered Amiga a hell of a lot of times on my channel from FSUA to Winfellow and quite recently a full review on Amiga 12 which was kindly provided by developers and trust me Amiga kit is the best way in my opinion anyways hit notifications subscribe and like if you like today's video that just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it also helps out my channel too also feel free to join me on social media I'm on Facebook Instagram Twitter and TikTok but until next time stay retro Oh.